All right, this is an unboxing of Exergen Smart Glow Temporal Artery Thermometer right here. All right, so I picked this up just recently at Target. All right, so thermometers are hard to come by now. They're being sold out at a record pace due to the current situation that the world is going through right here. So this is the actual thermometer. I'm going to open it, but we're going to look on the outside really quick to see what um, they're talking about. It says that it's the number one thermometer preferred by nurses, pediatrics, uh, best-selling thermometer. Okay, this is the best-selling thermometer according to them, and it says accurate support by more than 50 clinical studies. All right, so that's good to know. Uh, as you can see right here, it just shows a picture of a baby on, this, on the front of it with the thermometer against the child's head. All right, so that's how you take the temperature. So I'm going to open it up and see, I'm going to put it together and, you know, give a, just give a first glance at this device, all right? And also stay tuned, I'm going to compare this to other thermometers that are out there, all right? So it says soft glow display, eight temperature settings, programmable. I'm not going to bore you with a lot of that um, things that are on here. And right here it just shows on the side uh, the thermometer in use being used on these people right here. See, it goes against the uh, um, the forehead, all right, as you can see. In here, there's a battery that's included right here to add, and it's right here. It's easy uh, use. It says safe and easy to use. It says, one, press the, hold the button, lightly scan across the forehead, release the button, and read the temperature. All right, and there's also a note saying, remember to remove the protective cap and read instruction manuals completely before using. So read the instruction manuals completely before using. All right, so this is a lot more uh, material in the back to read. I'll save that for the restroom later. All right, now I'm just going to go ahead and open up the package. All right, as you can see right here, it seems like I can just open it up right here, but it is very difficult to do so. So I'm going to go ahead and use a pair of scissors, and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the top of this. Cut the top of it and open it up. And doesn't wanna open up pretty too well. So I'm just gonna open up the top of it with some scissors. This it's very difficult to open up. I don't wanna hurt myself by and on the inside, you have instruction manual. All right, you have the instruction manual going on right here. Read that, save that for the restroom later. And then here is the actual device. It seems like I have to cut a little bit more because the plastic is somewhat sharp. I don't want to end up injuring myself by getting this out and therefore needing to go back to Target to get a Band-Aid. So here's the device. I'm just going to sit this right here and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull the battery out of this which is down in here, it says right here, heavy duty battery, Vinic, I've never heard of this brand, maybe it's a brand, uh, just a generic brand made for this particular device. So here's the device, it has a sticker on here that, um, you know, a little bit more reading material, smart glow feature, soft glow display, eight temporal memory, temperature memory, programmable beeper, all right, and programmable for Fahrenheit or Celsius. And it says to remove this label, and I'll do that a little bit later. But now I'm going to go ahead and put the battery in. All right, and so the instructions are on the back. And I'm going to go through the instructions before I actually use this. Okay, so let's, um, I'm going to go ahead and open this up from the back side. And I'm going to go ahead and put the battery in. As you can see, there is the po positive side and the negative side. That's the negative side right here and the positive side right here. And I'm just gonna look in here and see where the positive and negative are. All right, so the positive is on that side, the negative is on that side, and I'm just gonna go ahead and place this in here, and press it down, all right? And then I'm gonna replace the cap. And before I read the instructions, I'm just gonna flip this around, all right? Press the button, see what goes on. So press the button, some goes on, and it says it's gave me some temperature 101, like. I don't know where it's getting that from, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually remove the cap like they instructed to do, and then I'm going to read the back side of it. It says remove protective cap, 
Uh, with probe, flush on center of forehead. Depress, let me get in a little bit closer so you can see. Depress button, keep depressed. All right, and three, it says lightly slide probe across forehead to hairline, okay? And it says, if perspiring, lift probe from forehead, touch on neck or just behind earlobe. All right, so I guess those are alternatives. It says, release the button, read the temperature, measure arterial temperature, all right? Oh, it says measures arterial temperature, forgive me. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and try this out and see what I get. So the normal uh, human temperature is around 98.6 degrees. So if it gets anywhere near that, I have somewhat of um, you know, an idea on how to use this. If it's a little bit higher, I should probably go to get checked because I'm probably like, you know, have, dealing with that current situation that uh, is plaguing the world right now. So I'm going to go ahead and try this. So what it says, it says I'm going to turn it around and plush it against my forehead. So I'm going to take this and do this. So hold, bear with me for a second. All right, let's see. Am I supposed to press the button first? All right. Um, all right, all right. With probe flush in the center, press button. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, so I'm going to uh, give me a second. I'm going to go right here. All right, so it gave me a temperature. So I am in with the normal uh, type of temperature. It says uh, normal human temperature is 98.6 degrees. This is giving me a reading of 97.7 degrees. So that's about, about right. Average, normal, maybe a little bit cold right now. Um, so that's the Smart Glow. That's the Smart Glow Exergen Temporal Scanner. Uh, unboxing. If you have any questions about this, I'm probably going to uh, compare, contrast this with two other thermometers later on. Uh, if you have any questions about this right here, uh, just feel free to leave a comment in the comment box and I'll appreciate it tr tremendously. Thanks a lot for watching.